the Queen goes to extraordinary lengths to make her royal guests feel at home. Yesterday she appeared to have coordinated her outfit at Buckingham Palace when she met George Adesola Oventade, the new High Commissioner of Nigeria, who was presenting his credentials. The diplomat and his wife Modub dressed up with appropriate pomp and pageantry, donning traditional purple robes with matching headscarves, and the Queen was also wearing a purple dress, with floral motifs. Benjamin Disraeli Anne Whitcomb and Nadine Dorries are among politicians to have penned successful novels, but former Tory Chancellor Norman Lamont won't be joining their ranks. I have written political tomes, but I could never write a novel because I'm no good at being raunchy, he tells me at a London book launch party. I'm not sexy. Oh, I don't know Lord Lamont, who is memorably said to enjoy singing in the bath hit the headlines once when he had to evict a Miss Whiplash called Sarah Dale from a basement flat he owned. Will Ed keep his head at Palace? Red-headed crooner Ed Sheeran will hope to emerge unscathed from Buckingham Palace today when he receives his MBE. Last year he suffered a nasty cut on his cheek when he was allegedly struck by Princess Beatrice as she pretended to night pop singer James Blunt during a riotous party at Royal Lodge. Windsor. A pal later explained, he went to hospital and came back ready to party with stitches in. Celebrity crimper Nicky Clark has had to adjust his lifestyle after becoming a father again at 59. Once a tireless party-goer, Clark, who is father to baby Nico with his girlfriend Kelly Simpkin, 35, makes sure he is tucked up by 10 p.m. My life has gone topsy-turvy, he says I often get up at 3 a.m. if my new baby son wakes up, even though it's only a few hours before my alarm is set to go off. My new bedtime is 10 p.m., I used to think anything before 1 a.m. was an early night. I usually get up at 5.30 a.m. but if I've been up with Nico till 4 a.m., I'm like, do I go back to sleep or not? Pippa's mum looks young enough to be her sister. Pippa Middleton's wedding was one of the society events of the year, but on Tuesday it was Mum Carol's turn to shine at the Henry Van Straubenzee Memorial Fun Carol concert in Chelsea. Carol, 62, mother of the Duchess of Cambridge, sported a youthful ensemble of a black coat, tights and ankle boots, and could have been mistaken for the sister of similarly clad Pippa, 34 who wed the financier James Matthews in May. Oscar-winning actress Glenda Jackson, 81, has dubbed the response to allegations of sexual harassment in the London theatre world hypocritical, saying it is widespread in all professions. The former Labour MP says, It seems to me that there is an amount of hypocrisy that's swirling around this particular issue. Are people pretending they have never heard of anything like this before? There isn't a woman in the land who hasn't experienced this.